Hey guys, as you know, I'm disappointed in the stock audio system in my 2019 Dodge Challenger. Now, if you're looking to improve the performance of your stock audio system, stay tuned to this video. All right, guys, so as I've told you guys in the past, my audio system is poor. You know, it starts to distort once I hit around the volume notch, around 20, and there's something within the amp or the system that isn't allowing it to get any louder or produce any further bass beyond like the 20, 21, 22 volume notch. So as you guys know, I'm pretty disappointed with the system. And I do like music, I do like cruising to music and stuff, and it, it's just been driving me crazy. So I went out and found a free app that goes on your phone. It's called Louder Logic. Now, there are a ton of apps out there, but most of them are just free trials. This one seems like you can get it free and maintain and keep it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate in my car what the stock system does naturally versus what it does within this app. And we're gonna test to see whether I'm getting you know, increased volumes or decibels or sound quality using this app. So stay tuned, let's go jump in the car. All right guys, now we're in the car. And what I'm gonna do first is show you where all of my audio settings are. So my trebles plus five, my mids are minus two and my bass is plus seven. My speed adjust is set to three and the loudness is on. That feature's on, it improves sound quality at lower volume. So I'm just gonna keep that on and keep all this consistent between, um, you know, the stock iTunes versus the Loud Logic app. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do to use my testing. I'm gonna use the Decibel X app. And uh, what it'll do is it'll show us the current average and max. And uh, I'm gonna reset this and we'll start first with the iTunes. All right, so now we're going to do uh, volume 20 through iTunes. All right, so now let's try it with volume 20 with the louder logic, but here's where you get the benefit from louder, louder logic. You can, uh, can then adjust your graphic equalizers. So I put the bass up a little bit, I put the, uh, the highs up a little bit, um, and we'll see if that makes a difference on the decibel reader. All right, we're on volume 20. Start this and start the bass. Wow, guys, look at that. The louder logic clearly puts out a stronger signal than iTunes. So you know, and you also have the ability to adjust your graphic equalizers a little bit more. So whether that means you want to put the stock systems flat and then adjust it through louder logic, you could do that. Um, or if you want, you could bump up the stock a little bit on the bass and then amplify it even further with the louder logic. So it definitely looks like you have the ability to make that signal stronger, which is awesome. Uh, my fear, though, with this system is you may blow the speakers, but um, you may be able to push it a little bit further than the factory is allowing you to do, which I think is pretty cool. So, hope you guys got value out of this video. Um, I sure learned a lot, and uh, I think I might have a temporary solution for this stock audio system, which is definitely less than desirable. So... Take care, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.